Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How That Out. Tonight we are going for the first beer from the Wise Bartender box of the Ultimate British Beers. Which one is it? It is this one. It is Hawkshead Lighter Times. And it is described as a low alcohol pale ale and it weighs in at 0.5% ABV. And it says on the back of the can that the perfect balance of speciality malts and big hop flavour. Full bodied and packed full of American hops. You don't need to be big in volume to be big on taste. It's beer from the lakes. So, it promises much. It promises full body and it promises big American hops, which hopefully it's juicy, citrusy, and all the good things that you come to expect from uh, that kind of hop profile, shall we say. So, I've had a few Hawks Head beers in the past, all of them the full fat versions, and uh, they've all been particularly good. I did, did a quick check on Untapped. This hasn't got many check-ins. 337 with an average score of 3.03. What will I think of it? For, for anything more than a 3, that means I will buy it again. So, bodes well. People will buy it again. So let's, without further ado, crack it open and see what we think. So we are pouring into my Rainbow Project glass. Whoa, it's a lively one. My Rainbow Project glass from 2017, I think it was. Anyway, as I say, it's lively. It's been escaping from the can. So let's try and get it in without spilling too much. Okay. It's not been shaken. It's not been stirred. It's been left to chill in the fridge for 24 hours. And, well, there we go. So we have apparently a not particularly clean glass, even though it's been cleaned profusely. Anywho, the beer is golden. It's crystal clear with a white head that's not particularly compact and tight. And it's very well carbonated, as we know from the, uh, the opening. Um, so... Yeah, it looks all right. It's got more colour than many of the alcohol-free pails that I've had in the past have had. You know, so it looks promising. It's a good start-ish without the uh, the activity from the can. Let's have a bit of the old swirl and sniff. Okay, it is hoppy and it, it's got that stereotypical alcohol-free aroma to it as well. You've got a little bit of that sweetness coming through. Maybe a little bit malty. It's a little bit of everything I'd expect. There's similarities to some of the Brewdog beers like the uh, the Punk AF and worryingly for me, the Nanny State, which I found quite floral. So without further ado, it looks all right. It pours like crazy. It smells as I would expect to have a taste. That is quite interesting. So we'll start on the full body thing. It's got body to it. It's not heavy. It's a medium body. I'm going to say it is hoppy. There is a an abundance of hop. And most importantly for me, there's bitterness. I like that. I do like them big, hoppy and smashing you in the face with bitterness and all that jazz. And it delivers on the bitterness 100%. There is a very sweet malt in there and it's balanced by those bitter hops. It's not, and I say balanced, you've got one extreme to the other. It's not particularly, how can I put it? It's not a, it's not even in as much as they play together nicely. You've got sweetness or bitterness. They're not blended well. So you've got a bit of both going through. The hops are prominent and that for me is key. I like big hops and I cannot lie. The, the finish is bitter and I didn't expect it at all. I was expecting lots and lots of sweet malt, maybe a little bit of a floral edge based on the aroma. But I'm not really getting the floral on the taste, and that's a good thing for me. I say that bitterness is following through nicely into the finish. In a good way. I like it. Mm. 
Yeah, the more the more I sip it, the more my tongue is getting used to the flavours, and and it's you could describe it as an assault on the taste buds because it is so extreme from sweet to, to bitter. There's no real kind of middle ground that it's running through. You get sweetness up front, then bang, bitter hop. And I love bitter hops. You know, this is this is all right. Mm. I like that. So, Hawk's Head, lighter times. Low alcohol pale ale. What do I think of you? Would I buy you again? Yeah, I would. I would buy that again. Um, because it's got things I like. You know, it's got those nice bitter hops. And that works for me. You know, it's not resinous. Don't get me wrong. I really love a resinous hop. There's none of that here. This is just old school bittering hops with a nice sweet malt profile, you know, and it's just one end to the other. There's no in between. Let's go with a brief. Perfect balance of speciality malts and big hop flavour. There is balance in as much as both of them are there. So you've got sweet and you've got bitter. They don't blend particularly well. You get one or the other. I mean, you might experience it differently. My taste buds are bound to be different to yours. So you might get something that's a little bit, bit more refined on your taste buds than it is mine. Full bodied. It's got body to it, let's be honest. One of the criticisms I can levy against a lot of the alcohol free beers is that they are as thin as water. This is not. This has got good body to it. And it says it's packed full of American hops. Yes, it is packed full of hops because it's hoppy as they come. Certainly the hoppiest alcohol free beer I've had to date. And I think it will take some beating in that sense. You don't need to be big in volume to be big on taste. Absolutely. You know, it fulfills that part of the brief perfectly. It's low ABV. It's big on flavour. It delivers. So would I rush out and buy it again? On the evidence of this one, yeah, I probably would actually. Um, like I say, it delivers on the things that I like. It's hoppy and it's bitter. And in current times, in my requirements for low alcohol beer, it fulfills that nicely as well. So yes, I would rush out and buy it again. Is it perfect though? No, it's not perfect. Um, I would like a little bit more interplay between the sweetness and the bitterness. I like both of them on their own, but I just wish they played a little bit nicer to each other. I'd like maybe a little bit of zestiness to come from it because these, these are just pure bittering hops. And, you know, I love that. I love it to bits, but I just like a little bit more je ne sais quoi from it. So yeah, I would rush out and buy again. It's not perfect. It's definitely one of the better ones, though. Uh, in fact, I would I go as far as to say as it's easily the best alcohol-free pale ale I've had so far. Yeah, I would. I would. It's that good. Um, I say if it was a bit more interplay between the sweetness and the bitterness, it would be very, very, very good. So I'm going to give Hawkshead Lighter Times four and three quarters out of five on the old untapped score sheet, which I didn't think was going to be possible for an alcohol-free beer. But there we are. It's Friday the 13th. Stranger things have happened. Um, but this is a particularly strange one, I must say. I'm giving a 4.75 out of 5 for an alcohol-free beer. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, wherever you may be watching from, that's been the beer. Down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. If you're a new viewer, I'll tell you. You've got like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried the old lighter times. Chances are probably not, given the low numbers of check-ins on Untapped. I'm going to increase that now. Get this video uploaded for your viewing pleasure. And I'll say, that has been the beer. I've been Nick. And I will see you again soon for another video.